Hello there, I'm El Boido, and welcome back to From the Depths. In the last episode, I struggled to get my aircraft carrier function. However, now we have it. It is here. It is just there. It has a fleet of aircraft protecting it, and my two class to the side, which I shall be operating in this episode. Against us, we have that one coffin now that causes all the pain before a vanguard, an Atlas retrofit, and a rewarder. Over here. We have a vanguard and another vanguard. We can handle it. Let's go up. I can spawn in all my two hurricanes. I see. By looks of it, I can't use my. I can't have the Vindex on the battlefield right now. So. Okay, maybe I do. So, let's have a little look, see what's going on. As I warm myself up and get reacquainted with this lovely destroyer. I used to use these quite often, but I had to stop when I started recording this because I simply put, we couldn't afford them. So I see the plane, well, the <laughs> it appears our aircraft carrier has taken a majority of the beating. That plane appears to be crashing, and it's going to crash into our aircraft carrier, and I'm going to say rude words. But it would appear that the coffin now is getting chewed up like I hoped. There's a lot of lag going on right now, because... These planes spew out a lot of DACA. But we can see that the coffin now is losing pieces. That's what I hope would happen. So now this over there. Yep, these are now targeting the Atlas and that's now still targeting that. Missiles are coming in to hit the coffin nail, which should hopefully do even more damage. My guns have no chance of hitting it. I'm gonna probably modify the guns in this to be a bit more long range. So I modified them before I started recording, but I've lost them. But I only did them to what I thought would be a reasonable degree, but it appears I've gone totally OTT with this. I think I can get a few torpedoes off. So let's line up the torpedo X. Turn to the side a wee bit. If I can torpedo that Atlas, that'd be bloody awesome. Okay, I really hope. So far, the aircraft carrier is taking a bit of a beating, but I think it's holding up. This Atlas, uh, not the Atlas, um, this coffin nail. It's looking pretty bad. My aircraft just swarming everything. Don't worry, I don't plan upon using aircraft specifically. Ooh, that looks like the coffin there has had it. Look, it's still fighting on. This music just felt like changing. Where are my torpedoes? <laughs> I have absolutely no idea where my torpedoes have gone. Oh, there they are. They really did not move fast enough. I might have to do a bit of a reconfigure. Hmm. Let's 
can be difficult. So I think, firstly, I'm going to have to modify the guns on here to much longer range. Secondly, I'm going to have to make the torpedoes faster. Thirdly, I'm going to have to remember which button it is to turn. But right now, for revenge, I think it's safe to say we're getting it. Yeah, those planes cause too much stacker. I'm going to probably cut back on them and start using torpedo bombers instead. Um, I believe that the ones on the Vindex were... The Hurricanes on the Vindex were also modified to use RT3, which is effectively ro very simple rockets. So I'm going to probably start using them. That coffin now is looking very much worse for uh, we get shot on. Yeah, shot's gonna hit. We didn't do a lot of damage so compared to everything else that's going on here. So the gun is uh, a little bit unrealistic but it's because I can't get the plane to do a proper bombing run right now so we're going to have to live with that unfortunately look at that thing it's it's just wreckage but it's still fighting I applaud it So I'd have to say, out of all ships, destroyers my favourite. Torpedoes and reasonably big guns, you can't go wrong. Ooh, I'm just taking something off here. We took a turret off. That coffin there is still getting done pretty badly. We're gonna hit, we're gonna hit, and... Tucked in there, took out some stabilisers. So I'd say the aircraft are pretty successful. Um, pretty much the law of them is I'm not going to use them without an aircraft carrier. Spawning Vanguard tire boy. Where are my torpedoes? I wonder what happened to them. Anyway, speaking of torpedoes, let's blow some shit up. I forgot I had five on there. That yeah, looks like that's going good night. Got over there, fired one salvo at it, and we've also fired our torpedoes. He should be saying goodnight very shortly. It's a refit as well, so it's a bit more of a pain in the arse to deal with. Those torpedoes that they just blew each other up. Alright. I'm gonna have to do something about those torpedoes.
However, let's take out these vanguards. I might change these guns over to be controlled on different points because there's no point using them like this. Okay, let's one those down. Lovely. So good in. Can we see one our aircraft are strafing it now? That one over there's been knocked out pretty nicely. Now right, I've got to get away because there's gonna be a marauder spawning right here. And having my lovely little aircraft, my lovely little destroyer right here, it's probably not the best place. But we've now saved our monitor. It took long enough. It took a lot of irritating battle, but... Alright, torpedoes! Fire! That did, that did the business. See our aircraft now strafing it too? Oh god, I've just gone in front of that. Let's back it up. Oh god, has it hit one of my planes? Yeah, one of my planes just got taken out. I think they crashed into one. Another. Alright, lovely. This reward is sitting dark now. Let's put another salvo of torpedoes in there. Oh yeah, I think two of my planes just crashed into one another. And there's the magazine on that gun. That's pretty much a good night from that marauder. Don't put, they don't put out too much hurt, but put on a peaceful sum. The many is fun to use. If only for the torpedoes. And there we go. Start that battle down. We've now saved the M33 monitor. And... Being attacked over here. Not by River Home, the Kalma. That looks like it's going to be a job for my alternative fleet. Just want to spawn this around, let them pair a little bit.
invisible le va. Remember now, I was trying to dock one more time. So I just need to dock them all, repair them all. Up here, once you repair, if you repair, we're going to fit in. Gonna fit into my sword fist, I believe. They're uh, pretty much torpedo bombers. But now we've got a load of aircraft to repair. Thing about all these sea hurricanes, they're very quick to repair and they're still relatively cheap, so it doesn't hurt me as much. This is you. Get around here. No, I need to speed up the repair to this. I didn't realize how expensive those were. Okay, pull you out of combat. Right, you're fully repaired now, I think. So. Next craft we need to build. Some right, it's not so I'm gonna go to it up, so I'm just doing that. Some sword fists. Campaign Fairy Okay, now these are even cheaper much less expensive to use and they get the job done just as well the only problem is that they only target waterborne targets and are very easily blown up because of their size 
Well, hey, man, it's a dodgy lot of stuff too. So I'm planning on having two in round five of these. And then that should pretty much solve all my problems. Well, theoretically it should. Whether it will or not, that's to be decided. Very dainty little things. Well, they get the job done so bloody well. Go wait for them to build. Then we'll drop that one out of play. Have them out there. All right, I'm just gonna wait, pause it while all this comes together. Okay, and we're back now, and it looks pretty good. They're all about crashing into one another, but yeah, here are all my torpedo bombers. All prepped and ready. I'm gonna pull them all out of combat now before they work one another. So I've just ended recording, let me just put the stitch back together. But before we go, let's see the M33 now. Taking on a group of vanguards. So it's been a while since I last used this. It's about time I got one of these in. Okay. And have I got them rains now? Yes, I do. Let's get both guns in here. It's taking a bit of beating. It's kind of the person that these monitors struggle against Vanguard. Right, they get jumped up. Hopefully, one of these will knock out that magazine or. Throw something up. There we go. And there we go. That's in that battle. Now we've got for the monitor. It's nice to have the back. See down here a few of those shells pass straight through it. That's just makes me think I might need to up armor the hardest if I want to use it more. Anyway, I've been El Bordo. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take it easy, guys.